Hey friends, Mark is here and super excited to be with my friend Denny Warren here from Sailfish Boats. Been with the company for 21 years. Absolutely. That's some serious time. And today we're looking at their newest introduction to the market. I mean, this center console market's crazy. The 312 CC, I'm pretty excited for this review and I'm sure you all are excited. A lot of conversation about the boat here at the show, Denny. And so as we start to talk about this boat, before we look at some of the features and the cool elements of the design, who is this boat designed for? It's it's designed for, it's like an SUV on the water, let's okay. say that. Right. So it's a fishable boat for tournaments. Uh, it's a family oriented with all the seats and cover. You got water sports, so you can cover all the bases. So you can cover the fishing, you can cover the water sports, recreation, the restaurant hopping. So That's it's right. a versatility boat that, that does everything. A versatile boat that does everything. You know, it's interesting. Some boats are in the far end of, you know, all about the tournament fish. Some boats are in the far end of all about the sandbar. So it sounds like what Sailfish has done, correct me if I'm wrong, is they're trying to find that that the person that makes them happy on on both ends essentially with yeah. this model here yeah, absolutely you can take off in the morning with everybody that wants to go fish you got all the rod holders everywhere you can fish you hard yep. you can come back at lunchtime take all the rods out put your water sports in carry the kids out water sports stuff bring it all back in clean all that out everybody hop on go to the restaurant so, yes sir okay. yes sir so let's talk about the power so uh, uh, typically with the, with the 312 CC from Sailfish, what are we looking at that's gonna be on the back? This is powered with the new V10 Mercury um, 400 horsepower, yep. a brand new motor for them. And yep. this boat does 67 miles per hour with this pair. So, <laughs> 67? Yeah. She is ripping with that. So I imagine the cruise is probably in that 40s range. Yeah, 38 to 42 is the yeah. best cruise in, in con economy as far as fuel. Yeah, okay, great. So we've got that. Now, one thing I'm noticing about the stern area is how the hull essentially curls out around the engines. What I, I like that a lot, but what is the thought behind that? It's an extended uh, swim platform, if you yep. will. And on this side, we got what we call the sandbar cooler. So okay. if, when you're at the sandbar, you don't have to get in the boat to get a drink. You have it right there, which also we have the stereo control right there as well. So you don't have to get inside to control the stereo. Smart. Of course, we have the boarding ladder housed over there. So flip up the lid, mm -hmm. four step ladder goes down. So. Yeah, really starting to see that that sandbar element here too. So I, I'm, I'm liking that a lot. Okay, so when we look at this transom area and the stern, I'm seeing we've got the bench seat that curls up against the against the wall itself, against the transom itself. So that's nice because it keeps our cockpit really large After in terms space, of yeah. yeah, in terms of in terms of space. Anything else here in this area that you would point out that sets that sets the boat apart. Well, you actually have another seat here that flips out, so mm -hmm. you can you can set uh, you know two kids or one one adult, and this is a two seater here. So now you have seats back here that are comfortable with backrest. You get a cone pad there is a backrest. Yep. So it, it makes for a good environment to socialize. You know. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Plenty of plenty of space in here for seating. No question about it. Or you can convert it to that fishing cockpit that Absolutely. we might want. All right, so we look at our equipment table here. What's up? What's what's going on with this? Here you got the, the freshwater sink and here's the, the 30 gallon bait well. So oh, okay, now you yeah. Got, so now you have two bait wells. You have one in the transom yep. and one here. Uh, for those guys, any anglers that, that do serious live bait fishing, yes. if, if they're fishing with two different baits, they like to keep them separated. Yep. So this gives them the capability of keeping them separate. All right, got it, nice. If somebody wanted to get a gyro on this boat, could they get a gyro? Absolutely. And where would that go? It would go underneath the leaning post, so you'd yes. end up losing the bait well That's right. to accommodate it, but it'll fit right up underneath this, this the helm seating. That's right, that's right, okay, great. So let's move to, speaking of the helm, let's let's move to the helm area. So when we talk about this this helm area for the 312cc here with Sailfish, what are some of the elements that set it apart? I mean, it certainly feels awfully like high-end, very yeah. elegant feel to it, but uh, what are some well, of the one of the, one features? Of the, one of the main features that we always, we always do is we think safety first, right? Okay. So when you're offshore and you're running, Yep. You don't have to take your hand off of anything to do the tabs. 
Some oh, the, that's really, really smart. Some of the other boats is down here, it's up here, it's up here. So you got to let go of something. You got to let go of the steering wheel or the throttle. That's but right here, very you got right smart. Fingertips. So ergonomically, we think about safety first and then what, what really makes sense as far as where the electronics go. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and in terms of the seating, you know, certainly feels feels high end, feels nice. I love the the foot positioning that that we have here. And actually, and the captain chairs too is, is on electric slide. Okay. So you can bring it up or bring it back. Right. So you can move. You can move it however you keep, however you want. Great. Okay. And so the options in terms of the screens is. You can get in terms of the size of the screen. A single, a single twelve, or dual, dual tens is what we offer. All right, single twelve, dual tens. All right, great. Now another thing that we do that nobody else does, to my knowledge, is this console. We call it a console tackle organizer. Okay. But it's actually a, a place to put things. Everybody when they get on a boat, they put stuff up here. Oh wow, that but is really gives, smart. This gives a place to put it. So when you get ready to go to your next spot or go somewhere, you just shut the lid. You don't have to put it, store it somewhere that keeps it from blowing out into the water. Yes. Yeah. And that's going to be pretty dang dry right there. So yeah, that's gas. It's got a gasket around it. Yeah. Still, so. Yeah. I like that a lot. That is a smart. That's a smart feature. You got some smart little you know, thoughtful engineer elements. So let's look at uh, what's in the actual console itself. Also, another key feature that we have, is this thing is standard with electric flushing mm -hmm. head. Okay. Yep. We use the fresh water tank for flushing it, not the raw water that you're in. What that does for you, it, it keeps that bacteria from growing from the seawater. That's ah. what that's what gives the stink in the heads. It's not, it's not being used, it's from that water getting bacteria growing. So we use fresh water just like your toilet to house. So, I didn't know that. Yep. That's really so, interesting. So, so that's pretty unique in and of itself. Yes, yes. It, it's it's a little more money to do that because but it, it's, it's, yeah. it's different plumbing yep. and pumps. Yep. So it looks like you got plenty of head clearance as well there. I yeah, mean, there's, six, there's six foot of head clearance in there too, which gives you easy access to the backside of your dash to either add electronics or service stuff. Right, right. Battery switches are conveniently right there, so you can turn the battery switches on or off. And the door seems quite heavy duty. I mean, it's it feels meaty. And I love the fact that it's, I, what are these hinges called? That Friction hinges. Friction hinges, which is smart. Not having a situation where it's slamming because right, somebody right. forgot to close it the right way. So. Love that. All right, cool. So let's move to the bow. Now here's another feature that, that we do on all our boats is the U-shaped seating. Uh-huh. I call it family seating. Family seating, all right. And in the backrest. Oh wow, that's nice. Pop up, easy, easy down. Yep. These two boxes are insulated here, so you can use them as storage, coolers, or fish boxes. We have two in-floor fish boxes in the back, but you still have more fish boxes here in-floor storage there too for there's a, a place for cast net or mm -hmm. boat fenders or whatever so yeah yeah love that love that now just a final couple questions for you denny and, and thanks for joining us today on the channel this is great we've been wanting to do a review of sailfish when you look at this boat 312 cc new center console that 30 foot you know the, the the 30 class of uh center consoles is just it's amazing how many are you see out there these days and for a new boater, they might not understand the tiers of the market. Well, it'd be low end, not low as in cheap, but like just uh, less features, less stuff, middle tier, upper tier. When you look at the 312cc, what would you classify this boat as? Well, in, in, in terms of vehicles, there's like the, the mid-level tier is like Chevrolet, yes. but we're kind of like the Denali. Okay. You know, we're yeah. not Cadillac, but we're right up here with, right. you know, more features and benefits and styling. Yes. Uh, even our, our, our hull is a, a unique hull. It's a variable step hull that's constantly changing. Nobody, okay. nobody has. So and we have so, some unique things. Yeah. And so that hull, what is the impact it has on the, on the ride of well, the, of the, the 24 degrees is what cuts through the, the rough water, gives you the smooth ride. Yeah. The 23 degrees at cruise is what gives you best fuel economy. Uh -huh. And then the 22 gives you stability at rest. So if you're out oh, fishing or whatever, now you're not on a 24 degree bottom that's rocking back and forth. You're on a 22 yes. that's just barely teetering. So that's why you have the variations. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's really fascinating. Yeah. And so if somebody was interested in 312cc, roughly 
from an MSRP perspective, and I know there's going to be a range here because there's a lot of different options, features that you can get with it. What is that rough range that somebody it, might spend depend, on this boat? Yeah, depending on motor packages, and optional equipment, and electronics, and you know, on and on and on, it could be anywhere from three hundred thousand to almost four hundred thousand. Yeah, so three to four hundred thousand for that higher end, uh, that Denali style. Yeah. Like you said, I like that analogy. Um, 30 foot class of uh, center console. If you're looking for something that can make you happy on the sandbars, but you're looking for something that can make you happy offshore, sounds like the, the 312cc might be a good fit for you. So Denny, we thank you for your thank time you. today. We appreciate Sailfish. We're glad that we're here at the show. We're glad that you joined us. Make sure you like and subscribe. And now you know if the 312cc from Sailfish is the boat for you.